Welcome back, everybody, to our birthday special for Sydney, Daniel, and Mark. And with this time around, we're going to be playing Jeopardy on the PlayStation 2. Let's see how it goes. music, thank you, and we'll play Jeopardy on the PlayStation 2. Aren't we, Tiger? <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. From the Sony Picture Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. Real ghosts? Good question. Measure twice. See in history. U.S. cities. Newspaper names. And rounding out, we have pop quiz. Player one will begin with you. See in history for 200. Plutarch wrote of this queen depicted here. Plato admits four sorts of flattery, but she had a thousand. Watch this. Who's Cleopatra? Precisely. Pick again. An alphabetic Sure. Who is Catherine the Great? Very good. You pick again. A civil war, known as the War of a Thousand Days, broke out in this South American country in 1899. What is Colombia? Precisely. Pick again. Charles Martel, grandfather of this great king, hammered Burgundy in 733. Who is Charlemagne? Very good. You pick again. Bassianus was the original name of this Roman emperor known for his baths. Um, who was, uh, it's either Caligula or Claudius. No, it's, uh, it's Claudius. Who is Claudius? No. I don't know. Regrettably, no. Who was Caracalus? 
Correct. Correct. Don't know who that was. Player, Player two, two, you choose. choose. How about newspaper names for 200? The papers with this name in New York City and Los Angeles have combined daily circulations of over 2 million. What are the times? Yes! Uh, this address for Player one, you choose. Meaning of the name of Nicaragua's Mafrensa, or what Nicaragua hasn't always had freedom of. What is the press? Very good. You pick again. Portland's largest paper is the Oregonian. This city's is the Tennessean. What is uh, Nashville? You bet. Correct pronunciation of the name of a 234-year-old Hartford paper or the type of events it covers. What's correct? You bet. And a thousand. The name of this Tulsa morning paper is a translation of Germany's Die Welt. What is the Tulsa world? You bet. Player two, what'll it be? I'll try pop quiz for 200. The only Dr. Seuss title that fits the category. It sounds like it could be painful to dad. What is hop on pop? Hey, you're correct. Uh, pop question for it. Player one, it's your turn. Examples include Andy Warhol's Brillo boxes or Roy Lichtenstein's giant comic strip panels. What is pop art? Yes. Shirley Temple took a sweet trip to a candy shop on this vessel. What is the good ship lollipop? Very good. You pick again. When Jim Thorpe attended the Carlisle Indian Industrial School, this man was his coach. Who's Pop Warner? Precisely. Pick again. A posturing person, ostentatious attire, makes him look like a parrot. What is... Puppet Jay. Definitely. Measure twice for two. A 10 square mile area covers 6,400 of these. What are acres? Right, pick again. A gigawatt equals 1,000 of these. What are watts? No, uh... What are megawatts? Very good. You pick again. I love you a bushel and one of these, or five of these total. What are pets? Or what is a pet? Definitely. Hey, you're still up, player one. If your shotgun has a bore of 18.52 millimeters, this measurement is 12. What is a centimeter?
What is a meter? Pass. Good guess, but no. Anyone at all? What is gauge? Exactly. Player two, it's your turn. Real ghosts for 200. Not one, but two of this English king's six wives are said to haunt Hampton Court Palace. Yes. Player one, what'll it be now? Glamis Castle in this UK country has several ghosts, including an earl who gambled with the devil and lost. What is it's either Wales or Scotland? I'll try Wales first. What is not Wales? Okay, what is Scotland? Right you are. Screaming ghosts have been heard at the old Lowry House on Royal Street in this quarter of New Orleans. Yes. This magician who died on Halloween is said to haunt the ruins of his Hollywood Hills estate. Take a look at your monitor. Thank you, Terry Houdini. Correct. Pick again. A violent ghost called the Bell Witch allegedly murdered John Bell in this volunteer state in 1820. West Tennessee. Correct. A 24 karat stone weighs 4.8 of these metric units. What are grams? That's it. Player two, it's your turn. U.S. cities for 200. Rebuilding pre-Columbian irrigation canals in 1867 helped resurrect this Arizona capital. What is Phoenix? Hey, you're correct. Over to you, player one. Cornwallis once referred to this North Carolina city as a hornet's nest. Today, the hornets play there. What is Charlotte? Okay, what is Raleigh? That is incorrect. My butt. <coughs> Here's what we were looking for. New Orleans? Huh? Hey, you're still up, player one. This Florida city was named for our seventh president, who led the fight to take Florida from the Spanish. What is Jacksonville? You bet. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. In 1806, 100 years after its founding on the Rio Grande, this New Mexico City had only a few thousand people. What is Santa Fe?
Good guess. It's not. No. Here's what we were looking for. Albuquerque. I gotta make a comeback now. And finishing off this round. Ranked as the nation's largest inland port, this Pennsylvania city is home to Carnegie Mellon University. I'm just gonna say what is Pittsburgh. Exactly. It's second place, but that's okay. That's it for this round. Let's see how all our players are making out. Second place is yours, player one. Now it's time for the double jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. Weights and measures. U.S. presidents. Anagrammed U.S. cities. Celebs. Hittite history. And our final category. Dwellings. This time, player three will start us off. I'll take anagrammed U.S. cities for 400. Say curse, New York. What is Syracuse? Yes! And a great US city's 800. Player one, what'll it be now? Nedgo, Utah. What is Ogden? Right, pick again. Snail is out, Missouri. What is St. Louis? Correct. Old Sap, Texas. What is El Paso? Right, pick again. Sin Pal, Georgia. I don't know. That is incorrect. What is planes? Yes. Oh, that makes sense. Player two, what'll it be? Celebs for 400. Many drivers, Scott Wolf and Leanne Rimes, are among celebrities who confess to doing this in the shower. What is singing? Definitely. Over to you, player one. This speed star was born in Lebanon to an English mother and a Chinese Hawaiian father. Who is Keanu Reeves? Correct. Pick again. On October 14, 1947, this Chuck flew a Bell X-1 aircraft 662 miles per hour. Who is Chuck Yeager? Precisely. Pick again. She's the first U.S. Secretary of State to be inducted into the Women's Hall of Fame. 
Who's Madeline Albright? Correct. Pick again. This flying circus's John Cleese and Michael Palin revived their dead parrot sketch on Saturday Night Live. Uh, who is, what is Monty Python? Correct. Dwellings to a uh, corridor, I mean. Excuse me. Can't think. It's the often fancy apartment occupying a building's top floor. What is a penthouse? Correct. From Swiss French for shelter, it's a wooden cottage or lodge with overhanging eaves. What's a chalet? Right. Manhattan is known for these handsome sandstone buildings named for their dark hue. Stones? Right, pick again. Though born to wealth, William Henry Harrison used this humble dwelling seen here as a campaign symbol. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. What is a log cabin? Very good, you pick again. In Malaysia, several families may live in this type of house, also built by the Iroquois. What was a long house? Very good. You pick again. Hittite history four. In Hittite myth, one of these insects is sent to find a missing god. Sort of a game of hive and seek. What is a bee? Exactly. After a 16-year war, a treaty was signed with this country, and its King Ramses II married a Hittite princess. What is Egypt? Precisely. Pick again. The army had three-man crews and an elaborate system of horse training for these vehicles. What are jeeps? No? What are chariots? Yes. Following the Bronze Age, the Hittites helped initiate this Metals Age. What is the Stone Age? No? What is the Iron Age? Right you are. Of 1200 BC, 200 BC, or 500 AD, the approximate time of the fall of the Hittite Empire. Uh, 500 AD. Could it be 200 BC? No. 1200 BC? Very good. You pick again. U.S. Presidents for 400. In 1896, Woodrow Wilson published a book on this man who was president in 1796. I'll just pick Thomas, who is Thomas Jefferson. Right. 
Regrettably, no. Who was George Washington? That's it. Player two, you choose. U.S. presidents for 800. The plane he used for his 1960 presidential campaign was named Caroline. Who is John F. Kennedy? Right. Over to you, player one. After a plea from his son, Abe Lincoln was the first to give a presidential pardon to one of these birds. What is a turkey? Exactly. Player two, your turn. How about weights and measures for 400? This linear measure equal to four inches is often used to determine the height of a horse. What is a hand? Right. Player one, it's your turn. A portion of a journey. It's also the part of a relay race. Each athlete has to complete. What is a leg? You bet. Your choice, player two. U.S. presidents for 1,600. He's nicknamed the father of the Declaration of Independence. I think now is the time for Thomas Jefferson. Right. Player one, your turn. Answer, the Daily Double. I'm just going to leave $2,000. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. The first U.S. President Mao Zedong received on an official state visit was this man in the 1970s. Who is Richard Nixon? Exactly. Great. It's the term for one full trip around the track. That's a lap. Correct. To the ancient Greeks, a unit of measure called a palm was made up of four of these. What are fingers? That's it. And to wrap this board up, answer the daily double. Player two, your wager, please. Uh -oh. Here's the clue. It's a linear measure in the U.S. or the basic unit of verse. What is a foot? Right you are. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this Double Jeopardy round. No question about it, you're hot stuff, player one. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category and then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. Player three, you can't continue on with us in Final Jeopardy. Sorry. Museum. Go ahead, make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. This religious city's museums include the Borgia Apartments, the Etruscan Museum, and the Raphael Rooms. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was... Absolutely right. 
And your wager on that? Player one, what was your question? Yes. What was your wager? So I ended up with $39,293. See you all for another game. That was a heck of a game. Congratulations to our big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. Come back soon and play our game again. Bye.